It's hard to picture life without communication through our devices. Cell phones and even the internet are part of most daily routines. But what if something so disastrous happened that we lost all of that? News 10's Garrett Brown joins us now in the studio. He explains how one group is helping others prepare for the worst case scenario. Cory, Indiana is well known for the Apple Festival in the fall, but this weekend it was known for something else, a location centered in helping in disasters. To the average person, things might look fine right now in Cory, Indiana, but people of the Wabash Valley Radio Association see things a little differently. Everything has been destroyed. Communications, the cell phones are down. A chaos scenario of global proportions and a group's goal to aid those in need. When communications goes away, the real trouble begins. The grounds for the Cory Fire Department were used for a different role. It became the camp for the American Radio Relay League's field day. The event centered around preparing for disaster situations. Everything here is what you might expect to need during some sort of major disaster, some sort of earthquake, uh, volcano, hurricane, whatever it is. Members of the Radio Association spent 24 hours putting up towers, setting up equipment, and establishing contact, all taking part in a nationwide drill to establish contact with others for resources, relay messages, and to help get the country back on track after a disaster. Talk to the whole world. We'll probably talk to about 2,000 other people nationwide during the 24-hour period. For these radio operators, it's a weekend to catch up and enjoy a passion of theirs. But they hope that the Valley will know that no matter the disaster, they will be there to help the best they can. The main thing that the community needs to know is that we're out there, we're ready to help out, we're equipped. If you are interested and like to learn more about the Wabash Valley Amateur Radio Association, we'll have that information on our website at WTHITV.com. Back to you.